Hi guys, okay, so today I'm going to do my video on just the basic nail. Um, I'm using Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Extreme Rare in black. So what I'm going to do is make sure you shake, especially if your bottle's old, you want to shake the bottle just to get the color evenly distributed. And then I'm just going to go one stroke in the middle, kind of spread the brush so it kind of moves. Now with a little black, because it is so black, you can just do two or one coats. Um, I like to kind of do two just so the color stays really, really long. But again, totally your choice. And then after I'm done with the black, I'm going to be using just a clear coat. Just kind of make it like extra shiny, just to kind of like really enhance the color. And then when I do my thumbs, I like to just like kind of bend it, my thumb like that, just to, because I just like it was my hands on the table, go in the middle. And spread the brush. If you get enough color on the brush the first time, you won't have to do um, a second coat. Now again, totally up to you. Um, I like to do two coats just so it enhances the color and also so it stays longer. Um, like, I have a job and where I work, you're not allowed to have nail polish, but I don't work until the weekend, so I'm allowed, I can do my nails for about a week and then I just take it off. So, um, but if I Work during the week, I never do nail polish because I have to take it off. It's a waste of my time. I can be doing better things. So, um, it depends on what I'm doing. Um, so for a whole week, um, I can probably do two coats, but because of the black, and I'm gonna be doing a clear color, it's gonna be the Sally Hansen again at Nail Growth Miracle and just the clear. Um, now this stuff can be like add as a second coat, but it's not going to be the same color because the black is so depth anyway. Um, I don't think I'm going to be doing a second coat. I don't know if it's a blow dryer, but because of the video, it, that wouldn't really work. So I'm just going to do the first coat. This stuff dries pretty easy, um, cause normally when I do like white nail polish and stuff, it takes quite a long time to dry. But um, the new stuff that I bought doesn't take very long at all. Um, but this stuff I can't, I haven't done this one in a really long time. So I think since the summer, now it's February. So I think it, I think it dries pretty bad. And just an easy way to tap is just to like really lightly dab your finger. Just 
So it's dry but it's a little sticky. As long as it's not quite enough, but my this smells good. So as I wait for them to dry, I can do my second hand. So I'm be really, really careful not to like, you know, put any like touch in them. So if you just like kinda use the your for your thumb and your two fingers hold it like that. So you don't touch or you can hold it like that. Just don't really touch any of that. Do, like you don't have to do one exact color. Like you can do, like you can mix and match because you can do black and pink, black and pink, or white and pink. Like any colors you want to like interchange. So like one nail is pink, the other is black. Doesn't really. My favorite color is pink. Um, but today I thought I would just do black because. Um, it's quite, you know, like a basic color and everything. Um, so this is a finished product when they're like, just, like, done. <coughs> now you ha can have the option of doing nail art. Um, I like doing the nail art because it like spices up the, just like the nail in general, but... Um, since I kind of work, I don't, I don't really waste a lot of time, I'm going to take it off in the next few days. So, I'm not going to do the nail art. Just, you know, because I don't want to you know, waste a lot, a lot of time. But, um, when you do have nail polish and it starts to chip, um, like, if like parts that are coming off don't really um like leave the nail polish on and go over it again take it off that specific nail and then redo it um or if it's like i have like a policy if it's for me if it's more than five i take all the nail polish off and just do like a new color you know have fun with it um because if it's more than five and then there's like, say if like all the your ones on this one were chipping and like one on this one, like let me say your thumb is on the hand chipping and then the rest of the four were okay. Um, if you take the six off, you redo them, like the next day the other four are chipping, like it was kind of a waste of time. So that's kind of my policy, I don't know if that makes sense, does that make sense? Cause kind of makes sense to me. I don't know, maybe I'm just like really frantic about those kind of things, but it makes sense to me. Um, so that's how I like to do my nails. Um, and again, like you can choose anything, like any color you want. The color I've never done 
is um, yellow. I don't think I want to do yellow because yellow was this like really statement. Like I'm wearing like a yellow top today. Um, I don't think I like to do that on my nails. It's like it's quite a statement. So okay, so our nail polish should be dry. Yes. Okay. As soon as we do this hand, this one should be completely dry. So now, the clear, all it does is give shine and make the color last. Now this, um, you can't really see, in case you can kind of see, it does, it does have shine already, which is really good. Um, just to give it like the extra boost of shine and to make it last longer as well. And it makes it quite soft too. Okay, so now if you can tell any difference, there's a lot more shine. So here's the normal shine, and here's the next shine. So it does give it quite a bit more shine. Um, and the black also is above any um, outfit that you have. So if you're wearing pink, it'll go with the pink. If you're wearing blue, it'll go with the blue, like white, black, and that's what I like about the black, because the black goes with anything. Um, like yellow, um, you know, like, yeah, it's green, any color. So that's what I like about the black. And then the one thing I don't like about the black, um, like, if, actually I really have nothing bad to say about the black, um, people might think like it's too dark for the nail. Like it is it is a really dark statement color. Um but that's kinda of the good thing about it too because you know like I don't know how to say it but it's I really like the color. And then so I guess we go again over on the other side. This is a weird trick that I got. I think it was for my sister. And after you're done, and uh, if you're kind of new at like the nail thing, and if you get like a like like few like clumps in your nails or something like while you're doing the nail, um, after you're done like blow drying them, get get your sink and fill it up with like freezing cold water, and then stick your like all your nails in there. And then it'll just kind of, it'll help with like the bumps in the nail. Now, you might think like, oh my gosh, it's totally crazy. But, um, it actually, it does work. Um, it does take, again, it does take practice because, you know, it's like water. And you had to make sure your nails are completely, completely dry because if they're not, and then you go and you go to like, kind of like, tap your hands like that, like on a towel, the nail polish will stick to the towel, I've had it happen to me, which is not good because I need to take the whole nail polish off and redo it again, which is extra time, so let's make sure that uh, the nail polish is completely dry and everything like that. So this is the finished product and um, I'll have another video up for you guys 
closer, a little, a little closer to Valentine's Day with um, some reds and pinks and some whites.